Hey guys, welcome back to the Chill Guy. We're playing Outward, and we finally be able to access the Zorbarans DLC. So stay tuned for this. So we're gonna speak to the Zorbarn Caravan, oh? and then we're gonna go. I want to travel with you. Afterwards, we're gonna say, "Take me to Harmatin. Two hundred silver, um, two food rations." So, so the town seems like it's called Harmatin. And like I said again, it's a Zora Boring's DLC. I don't know if you can tell, but I am extremely excited. I can't just wait for the screen to load. Like, come on, let's go. I just want to explore the area. Okay, wow, look at this. This is amazing. Let's get the map first. Um, so on the map, we have like a school thingy looking here. Sorry about that. We have um, the chef, light in, blacksmith, alchemist. Okay, a market, battleborn chef. Chief, sorry, Battleborn Chefs. The inn and then the military district. So let's just take a look. So this the uh, talk to Sikuku. Ah, good day. This the Battleborn Chef. I wanna buy something. Okay. Just pretty much we're gonna be taking a look at the whole map and taking a look at all the different stuff that they have to offer. What's this here? A sugar, I didn't know we had such a thing there. Okay, moving on. This is the weapon smith. I wanna buy something, okay. That's cool, I didn't see this from marble sword. This is regular other stuff. Need something? Oh, you can take a look at the recipes either. Oh, the brutal knuckles are here. Ooh, brutal knuckles. So we can come back and buy that when we do our speedster builds. We can eat those knuckles. This the alchemist. Wait, I want to train with you. I help you? I can teach you a thing or two. Oh, it's the Hontex. Okay, so we can come back and take a look at that. So. This thing she teaches, I can teach you the haunt text. I use a, I use a summon ghost to protect me when I need to venture outside. This hex makes me full so you more vulnerable to ethereal attacks. All right, so we can come back and How learn that skill. You? I want to buy something. Let's see what she has here. Nothing too different from the regular stuff. What's up? Something you need. Let's see what he has. This backpacks and some tents. I was thinking even something special or more different than what we normally used to have. I was a trader's backpack? Wow. But oh, but that gives you 10% um, less movement speed. We can't afford that. You it's another have. shopkeeper. Boy, they really have a lot of stuff here. Alright. So I'm not familiar with this town at all. This guy does. There's another blacksmith. Something? Okay, you have even different stuff here. Oh wow. So like what what is this? Is they really have a man hanged here? Wow. Wow, that's crazy. Master of motion. Okay. Ah, so this, so this is speed still skills here. Okay, let's look at this. Maximum stamina increased by twenty five, that's nice. Probe. Um, a big attack that increases alertness level on hit, that's nice. Passive skill that increases corruption resistance by 10%. Then Daredevil, reduce all skills cooldown by 10% for alertness level. Then we have Prime, removes two alertness levels, instantly resets the cooldown of the next skill used in the next 3 minutes. And then we have this next one here, removes one alertness level, cancels the next hit received in the next 20 minutes. Anticipation, and then we have Blitz, increases sprinting speed by 5% and running attack damage by 10%. Okay. That's one of the skills we're able to take a look at. Listen well. So north of the town, you'll find Golem Lake and Old Harmartin. 
Don't try to get in there, we've sealed it off to keep the ghost traps inside. If they got out, they could seriously endanger the region. To the east, there's ruined cultural district, and just north of that is what once known as the Four Winds District, where that old gang once held power. It mostly, it's mostly wild animals and golems around there nowadays. To the south, there's the Vigil Crystal and Old Merchants District, and to the east of that, you've got the Old Cabal of Winds Temple and the Mana Lake. To the west, there's a few outlaw gangs trying to displace the Wolf Gang mercenaries. Be careful wandering into that area. Okay, that's nice. Um, is another area to take a look at. Where is it? This is obviously a glitch. Is it a glitch or is it a skill? I think we found a glitch. Oh, don't tempt me to violence. So it's a Sorobori Academy. I think we might have found the next guy. Welcome to Sorobor Academy. Oh wow. I'm interested in signing up, but can you tell me but can you tell me about the academy? Hey, there's a leyline, where can I find it? Sorobor Academy is the greatest house of learning in Orai. That's interesting. Our trade networks also dwarf those of even Levant. Sorobor values individuals who are flexible, ambitious, and autonomous. Then come back. So who is this guy? Hey there. And that guy over there is Artois. Born and raised in a war camp near Karabaran. Our camps and traps and patrols are what keep so many scourge confined to the gates of Catharsis. Mm, interesting. So we're gonna come back. What's we'll behind there? What's the ley line chamber? What? Wait, wait, you telling me you can get magic here? Oh wow, so you don't, you don't even have to go do the whole thing in the past before. Wow, that's impressive. That makes it completely different now. And it's the ninth. Talk to the ninth watcher. So, you have come. I sensed that someone who had the potential for magic was on their way. If you wish to gain magic, you must first give. Be careful how much of your life and stamina. Mm. The first time you gain mana, you will gain your first spell. Okay, the I'm not gonna bother with that. I won't see what... Bother master. Okay, you. so we found the next um, skill set. Um, Jinx, Torment. Let's look at it quick. Um, so Jinx inflicts a random hex buff on your target. Torment triggers a related reaction in all nearby enemies affected with a hex. Nightmares reduces max mana burn from sleeping by 25%, reduces max stun burn recovery by 25%. That's really amazing. Query death around the caster, it recover 5 max health mana and stamina burn. So your blood sigil and rupture. Okay. And then we have Lockwell's revelation increases elemental damage by 15% when tired and 30% when very tired. And then we have cleanse, requires 50% corruption and mana stone, creates a dark stone, removes 30% corruption, suffer extreme bleeding and 65 delay damage. Okay, so, wow. This DLC is completely, I mean, I feel like it's awesome. One is an Arcanist, is so he sells some of those Arcane stuff. And what is this? Oh, this is to be able to enchant the stuff. So we have to dive more into this in a later episode. Enchanting pedestal. All right. Okay, guys. Um. I hope that this video was informative to so show you guys what we have available in the DLC for those who haven't purchased it as yet. Um, in the future videos, I'm planning on like completing the quest line, so you probably join us our academy and see what the DLC has to offer. And then I want to take a look at the speedster skills and add that to my um, skill set. So I'll show you guys in the future videos. If you enjoyed this video so far, give it a like. If you want to see more content, subscribe and stay frosty. See you guys in the next one.